Good morning, children. In previous class, I explained about science in science textbook third lesson animal fiber. In that, I explained about story of seed. No. Uh, once again, I repeat the topic. Female silk moth. What is the scientific name of silk moth? Bombyx mori. Female silk moth lays 500 eggs at a time. These eggs develop into larva. These larva eats mulberry leaves vigorously and increases their size and produce fine thread and spin around itself to form cocoon. Cocoons are stippled to produce silk. Later, after that, if you will not stifle, what will happen? The moth present in cocoon make hole and come outside and that will not get a, a good quality of silk. We learned up and already we observed the life cycle of silk moth also in previous class. No? In this class, I will explain about story of wool in animal fiber lesson. Do you know children? Wool is obtained from Wool is obtained from sheep, goat, yak or camel. Now that wool is obtained from sheep, goat, yak, camel. Along with sheep, goat, yak and camel also helps to produce wool. Yak, yak means jadalabari. In Telugu it is called jadalabari. They produce wool. Do you know children? Merino sheep. Merino sheep will give 5 to 18 kgs of wool per year. Merino sheep, it is a breed, type of breed. Merino sheep will give 5 to 18 kgs of wool per year. Do you know children? Wool also called as fleece. Wool also called as fleece. Do you know the length of fleece is 3 to 5 inches. 3 to 5 inches. If you will observe in areas like uh, Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttaran, Uttarakhand, and uh, Sikkim, Haryana, Punjab, Rajasthan, Gujarat, there we can find out large forms of sheep. They produce large amount of wool. Do you know children? If you will observe, camel hair will be coarse. And rough. Camel hair will be coarse and rough. If you will take Angora goat, it is a type of breed. Angora and Merino sheep. Angora goat live in Kashmir. Camel live in Rajasthan. Camel that live in Rajasthan, which have coarse and rough hair. If you will observe Angora goat, which live in Kashmir and Merino breed sheep have soft hair. Do you know Merino sheep is famous for soft hair? They give good quality of wool. Good quality of wool. Now, we will start the story of wool. First step in story of wool is sharing. First I will draw the flow chart of wool production. I will draw the flow chart of wool production. Next I will explain about the step, uh, story of wool in step man. First one, first step in story of wool is sharing. First step in production of wool, woolen fabrics is sharing. Next one is sharing. Next one is sewing. Next one is sorting. Next one is bleaching. Next one is bleaching. Next one is dyeing. Next one is combing. Afterwards, I will explain the stages of wool production in a stepwise. Next one, combing or carding. Next one is spinning. Next one is spin, spinning, cardling. Next one is spinning. Next one is rolling. Or 
twisting. Rolling or twisting. Next one is weaving or knitting. Weaving or knitting. Last one is woolen fabric. These are the stages which involved in production of wool. Do you know children? These stages are very important in the exam point of view. First one is shearing. Shearing means removal of hair from sheep with the help of a special razor known as shearing. Some people will remove the hair of sheep with the help of a special razor known as shearing. On that time, people apply grease on the skin of sheep. This grease is helpful to protect the skin from injuries. They are using razor, no razor means they contain blade, no? They may cause harm to the skin of sheep. That's why they apply some amount of grease on them. This grease helps to protect the sheep from injuries. Next one is sewing. After completion of shearing, the shared skin removed wool kept in big tanks, big tanks and the, the tank of water contain many chemicals. These chemicals help to remove, remove the remove grease from the wool. With the help of spade, spade with the help of spade, they strip the wool of sheep after sharing the shared skin is uh, the shared wool is kept in large tanks La the tank contain water and also with the help of a spade with the help of spade they strip well this helpful to remove the grease remove the grease present in the skin so this is about sewing after that cool air is passed towards the wool. This helpful to make the skin soft. This helpful to make the skin soft. I mean wool soft. Next one is sorting. Sorting means classifying. If, if any dust or dirt or twigs or dry leaves, if any leaves, any waste material present in the wool can be classified that is called sorting. This helpful to classify the wool with the help of length. The length wool will be keep separately and the short length wool will be keep separately in the process of sorting. Sorting means classifying. If any dust particles or twigs or leaves present in the wool can be separated in the process of sorting. Next, bleaching. Bleaching helpful to clean the wool. Bleach is helpful to clean the wool. Next one is dyeing. With the help of different colors, they after bleaching, the bleached wool will be no. The bleached will, wool will be dipped in the tanks which contain colors. Tank which contain colors. That is called dyeing. Dyeing means apply color to the wool. Next one is combing or curling. With the help of a special Combing machine with the help of a special combing machine, the hair will be combed or the wool hair will be combed with the help of combing machine. The combing machine contains different teeth. This helpful to comb the hair. This helpful to hair. This helps to hair become very soft. Next one, after combing, the thread will be no. This will be spinned. That process is called spinning. After that, the spinned hair will be twisting or rolling with the help of rollers. With the help of rollers. Next, the arm will be known. The arm, the fibers which united together to form arm. This arm is sent for weaving purpose. Here, if you will observe, weaving are two types. One is by hand, and the one is by hand looms or power looms. Weaving is done with the help of hands by handmade or with the help of hand looms or power looms. So, after weaving or knitting, 
Weaving means with the help of weaving means with the help of power looms or hand looms. Knitting with the by hand by hand. After that, woolen fabric will be ready. So this is the flow chart which shows us about how woolen fabric will be produced. Very very important in the exam point of view. They ask for four marks question. So please draw this flow chart in your notebook children very very important in the exam point of view sharing sewing sorting bleaching dyeing combing or curdling spinning rolling or twisting weaving or knitting woolen fabric these are the steps involved in the flow chart for woolen wool production woolen fabric production if you have in previous class already we learned about how silk will be produced leg larva pupa imago or adult that is the flow chart of silk moth here this is the flow chart to show about the production of woolen fabric once again i repeat the stages involved in the flow chart which shows the production of woolen fabric sharing sewing sorting bleaching dyeing combing or curdling spinning rolling or twisting weaving or knitting woolen fabric okay children next i will explain about the differences between silk and cotton do you know silk is obtained from silk moth silk is obtained from silk moth and cotton is obtained from cotton plant cotton is obtained cotton is produced from cotton plant do you know silk it is a silk helpful to form to prepare silk cloths cotton is helpful to prepare cotton cloths next wool do you know wool is the back conductor of heat very important wool is the back conductor of heat If you will observe during winter season, people will wear woolen clothes, woolen sweaters. Do you know wool is helpful to prepare sweaters, mufflers, and long coats and table covers, etc. Wool is helpful to prepare sweaters, mufflers, and long coats and table covers. Do you know, children? Wool is the bad conductor of heat. If you look at during winter season, people wear woolen cloth, woolen sweaters. Wool is the bad conductor of heat. Bad conductor means does not pass heat to outside. Does not pass heat to outside. All we have a familiar experience with woolen woolen sweaters. After during night time, we wear sweaters. When you wake up early morning, if you will observe the inside of the woolen sweater, we can find out some amount of heat. Where this heat comes from? This heat comes from our body. This wool is the bad conductor of heat, no? So this wool does not pass heat to outside. Preserve the heat inside of the sweater only. This helpful to keep our body warm. That's why. That is the reason why. we are wearing woolen wool uh, sweaters which is made up of woolen cloths during winter season okay this is the wool wool is the bad conductor of heat okay this is about story of wool in the next class i will explain about the keywords which related to third as animal fiber and uh, i will revise the whole lesson once again in the in the next class okay children Thank you.